Spectra Pass is a, a conglomeration of three or four very bright people that came up with an idea that you could test differently than the traditional lab-based chemistry PCR tests and use a physics-based approach that could test rapidly and expensively and uh, you know, provide an alternative that could test millions and millions of people. This technology is able to be both fast as well as high throughput, but also with the added value of not relying on the same supply chains as well as being cheap. The simple approach we have is uh, with a viral infection, you test from your nose. We take what we call a swab and we put it on a, what's called a plate for the testing purposes and you stick it in a, a machine that's a mass spectrometer and you hit a button and you get results just as fast as I just talked. Fundamentally, we're taking swab sample from your nose, we hit blast it with a laser, and we measure the proteins from there and analyze it with a computer, with machine learning, a smart computer. So this is a key component to being able to reopen businesses, right? People are coming to schools and businesses to be able to test quickly in large numbers. They're not gonna have to wait for results. They're gonna get it within minutes. And then they go through and we can create these safe bubbles. This was another driver for us to be able to bring a testing method that again, could let people congregate and feel comfortable that they know the other person is not uh, infected and they could get together and, and you know, begin to live again. This is a partnership between SpectraPass, UC Davis, engineering and science on the main campus in the School of Medicine. Everybody came together to bring their best talents and this is the result. The fact that we have a new test and it's been validated here is a game changer for the ability to quickly test for COVID and get people back to having fun. We can do things that the current system is not designed or built to do. Uh, it's gotta be deployed, it's gotta be built. Uh, there's work to do, but uh, this, this is a major step forward in employing technology, medicine. We can get in front of these, uh, these pandemics that are sure to come, and shame on us if we don't do it for our children, our grandchildren. <laughs>